There are no, there's no literature about Jesus when he was a teenager. Um, and so, I, again, I, I have to make it up. The first stanza is, is true. And here's the first stanza, and then the rest of the poem. There are a few apocryphal stories about Jesus as a child. How he walked up a sunbeam and flabbergasted his playmates, how his bath water could cure any illness. But there are no stories about Jesus as a teenager. So I wonder, did he make his bed without being told? Or was he the kind of boy who jumped out behind the bushes, scaring girls on their way to the well? And did his mother nag him about outgrowing his robes and sandals? And did she ever say to him, Jesus? Jesus, do you think your father and I are made out of myrrh? He was probably a cool kid who one of the others looked up to. And it wasn't just that he said he wouldn't live long. A lot of the guys said that, especially the ones who drank too much wine and raced their donkeys. But Jesus was different. While everybody else partied with the Dead Sea, he'd take the rowboat out, step right off the bow, and sink like a stone. And then he'd swim back in all mad. His pals could tease him out of a bad mood, though. And pretty soon he'd change water into beer and make one hot dog feed everybody. <laughs> girls liked him, but he wasn't into girls. In no way was he like Obadiah, who made his own curtains. <laughs> Nobody was surprised when he left home, and a few almost tagged along, but they couldn't resist Esther's long hair, pulled back and fastened with an amber pin, and they couldn't resist the pale underside of Miriam's wrist, and so they married and never went more than five miles from Nazareth.